Hello guys, how are you? I hope that you are doing good. This is Adam and today I will show you how to improve the performance for Blender on the M1 Max for the settings. And we are recording the screen right now externally so you don't have to worry about the performance and we are recording the audio as well externally so you don't have to worry about that. And I am using that with the machine on my left which is the M1 MacBook Air. With that being said, the machine that we are working with has 64 gigabyte of RAM with eight terabyte SSD and 32 core GPU with 10 core CPU. You. So this is the maxed out version of the MacBook uh, Pro 16 inch with the highest uh, RAM that you can get. Also the power uh, profile is set on high so we can get the best performance that we can get. I will enable Apple M1 Max and then Apple M1 Max GPU. So I have the GPU and the Max on metal both are open and enabled and then we will be using cycles and with cycles we will be using supported when it comes to blender version we are using blender 3.2.1 which is the most recent that was released on july 6. what we are going to do is go ahead and render let's wait and then see the results so that took 55 seconds to be rendered enabling the gpu and then enabling the cpu as well what i will go ahead and do is turn off the cpu and then i will go ahead and render only with the gpu so with this it took 53 seconds which means it is faster by two seconds now if you don't know what's going on simply if we only enable the gpu it's actually faster than enabling both now you might be saying why what's happening what's happening is when you enable both the gpu and the cpu and and because it's one soc a blender will confuse the gpu and the cpu and will be using only the cpu while if you only enable the gpu it will actually enable the gpu and i will show you that in practice with this project and then what i will do i will render it only with the gpu for now after i render it with the gpu i want you to take a look at what we have right here in regard of the gpu right here and then the cpu right here as well so we will go ahead and click render so this to render took 35 seconds as you can see and the gpu was being used heavily but the cpu we had only two cores being used instead of everything um, being used on the gpu now what i will do i will enable both the gpu and the cpu and then we will see how long this would take to render so just double checking we have the gpu and the cpu both enabled and then what i will go ahead and render and again keep an eye on the gpu and the cpu this time because the cpu now will be used very heavily because uh, what would happen is blender would confuse both and then cpu only so here we go Awesome, so we are done. As you can see, the GPU was being used heavily. Uh, sorry, the CPU being used heavily and it was up there, but the GPU was not being used at much. And to render this, it actually took 46 seconds instead of 35, which means this is an increase of 11 seconds instead of rendering the scene in 35 uh, seconds. We actually did render it with 10 or 11 seconds more with 46 seconds. That's why when you go to the settings, the optimal settings that you need to have is to turn off the CPU and only enable the GPU because with the GPU, you will actually be having a better performance because then a blender will not have a chance of confusing the GPU and the CPU and start using the CPU instead of the GPU because the CPU is actually slower than the GPU because the GPU with the M1 Max has more Course. So if you have the fully spec'd out uh, version or you have the version that has 24 cores and above, I would actually use the GPU only and not use the CPU. Now, if you have more than 32 gigabyte of RAM, I will advise that you increase the cache limit as well so it can use more of your RAM. For me, I have it set at 16, 16 gigabyte because I have 64 gigabyte of RAM, which means I do have more than enough RAM to actually use that cache uh, memory. So hopefully this video was helpful. If there's any questions or concerns leave them in the comments below and i will see you tomorrow bye